Annotation scaling is a great feature that will have AutoCAD automatically scaling your model space text to a certain predefined size no matter what the scale of your viewport. Without this setting, any text you place in model space will always be at the size of the object's settings. If you draw text in model space with a height of one unit, it will always be displayed as one unit. So as you zoom out in your viewport, your text gets smaller and smaller, making it more difficult to see. But annotated scaling when applied to text will scale that text to show up in a predetermined paper height size. So if you're using inches to a foot, if you want all of your text to be a 1 8 inch height when it prints, you can set it to that and it will automatically scale it visually whenever it changes in scale in the viewport. So let's open up the annotation example file. Here we have our familiar movie house scene. Let's draw some text in model space. Let's put it here in this one room. So M text and pick our area. And let's just call it an entrance room. And there we go. Okay, it's very tiny. The text is right here. But because the way our scale is and the way we're zoomed in, the text is very, very small. We can't see it. And when we go to anywhere else, it's going to be hard to see. So I can take the text, I can select it, and change my height up to, well, let's just say one full unit. It's a lot bigger now. You know, let's scale it up even more. Let's make it 10 units tall. There we go. That's significant. We can see that in model space. If I come here to the annotation notes tab, you can see the text right there. Entrance room. If I double click inside here, and if I change my scale, I'm just going to zoom in and out. You can see the text gets smaller and smaller, especially compared to the text that's put in here in paper space. Now here it's about the same size. So that's regular text. It's not annotated at all. Let's undo all this moving around. Now let's go back to our model space tab, and we can see our text that's here. Now, Typically, I stay away from putting text in model space for reasons like this. Plus, I necessarily don't want text to show up everywhere. If I want to label a room, then I'll label the room in paper space. However, labeling a room might be a good idea because then, no matter where I'm at, no matter what viewport I create and what tab I create, I'll know that this is the entrance room. So, in cases like this, I believe it's a very good idea to label something in model space with text. And if you're going to do that, then I suggest you make sure you have annotated scaling set to your text objects. Now that we're in model space, we can create a text style that has annotation scaling to it. You just type in the word style, and you create a text style just like you normally would. So let's say this is our notes. We're going to make a new one based on that. Say new. We're going to call it Note Annotated. Okay, so we have Notes Annotated. And to make it annotative, you just click on the button right here. And once you do, you'll get this little glyph. It looks like a cross section of a scale. And you need to put in the paper text height. And in this case, we're working in inches and feet. So 1 8 inch is a standard note text height. So we're going to use that. Everything else is the same and we're good to go here. One other option that you may want to set is the match text orientation to layout. Now what that will do is no matter how your viewport is rotated, you know, or on your sheet of paper or in any other way, it will always orientate it straight up and down. So you can rotate your view, you know, 45 degrees, but it won't rotate the text. It'll keep the text based on its insertion point straight up and down. Okay, so this is what it's going to display the text as, no matter what the scale of the drawing is. So we're going to pick this object, and I'm going to change the styles from Notes to Notes Annotated. Okay, now you notice it shrunk back down in size. It didn't change it at all, but it made it smaller. It is going to be at a one-eighth of an inch style. 
Now, one thing you have to do to anything that you create that's annotative, and you can create annotative text, obviously, dimensions, blocks, and then that will scale the blocks up accordingly with text inside it, multi-leaders, and hatches. So you can have your standard hatch pattern scale, and it will scale it up and down accordingly to the scale of your viewport. All of these are big time savers and keeps things displayed visually consistent throughout your project. So what you have to do is make sure you add all of the scales to your text in which they're going to be showing up in. Select your text, go to the Annotate tab on the ribbon, and you want to add delete scales. Now you could add the current scale, or you can delete the current scale from the selected objects, and the current scale is whatever is showing down here in your status bar or you can just pick and choose the ones you want. Click the Add Delete Scales. Right now we have one to one. And you pick the Add, and you go through this list of whatever it is you want to show. Now we definitely want one eighth, and you know what, let's just pick several of them. So you pick one, hold the Shift key down until you get what you want. You can hold down the Control key and add specific ones or take away some. Now, you want to keep this list short, because you may be thinking, well, I'll just add them all, all the time. Well, you don't want to, and I'll show you why. We're going to click OK, and we're going to click OK again. It doesn't look like anything's changed, right? Well, when I select it, you get a preview of the text and how it's going to look at all of the scales that you've added to the list. So, that can be an issue. It could really fill up your drawing screen if you pick this. And if you have more than one text object, it will really populate your screen visually. So you don't want to necessarily do that. Let's go to the annotation notes. And the scale of this view here, as we double click inside it, is at 1 8th. And we added that to it. So here we go. Now we can move this. And you can see the preview stayed here. That's because they're going to. We're only affecting the way the 1 8th of an inch scale the viewport or factor is going to be displayed. So I can take my orientation point here for the text and move it and it won't affect the others, which is kind of cool because if I zoom in or zoom out, it's going to make the text stay the same size, but the line work around it is going to change. For example, this is at one eighth of an inch right now. I'm going to unlock the viewport and now I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it to one quarter. See the line work zoomed in, the text stayed where it belongs, and it also stayed at my 1 8 inch height. You can see that by relating to the paper space text, which stayed where they're at in paper space, but my model space text stayed with the model, which is another advantage over the paper space text that you'll see here. So that's it in a nutshell. I can select it, and you see right here, here is my 1 8 inch height text. Now I can move this up and put it up here and that changes. Now I can do a couple of different things here. I have the options here to sync the scale positions. So for example here if I edited some of these like I have, now I need to sync them, I want them all to go back together. I can do that and it will match with the current one that you have. So that's kind of cool. That's nice to clean things up. But just remember anything you change in model space it may be affecting other drawings elsewhere because you reference AutoCAD files and what they get when they reference those through an XREF is what's in model space. So this text is going with it. So keep that in mind. So annotative scaling for text will keep your text sized the way you want it to be when you print. Otherwise, regular text will print out at the size in which it's drawn in at.